Yeah. Opening nice the day. bag. Yeah. 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 So what are you doing this morning? Well, we're switching over like scopes. Steak, it's gonna be a little bit hard to shoot out to a thousand yeah. yards with a one to four. So yeah. we're gonna switch to a six to 24. Nice. Right? Like six to 24. Nice. Mr. Hooty Hoo. Just, just hey. roll around yeah. and just capture. Nice uh, workbench this morning. Your office desk. Nice office desk. I need about 10 of these at the house. Pete. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Nils. Morning. How's it going, Eric? That's a that's a scope used this for long This is a much range. bigger scope than I'm used to. This is more yeah, this is kind of your thing. Four. This is a six to uh, twenty-four. I can't even count that high. I don't need. Oh yeah, from zero. Do you know what this is? Uh, that where does that go? <laughs> pretty it's sure it's a, a pretty sure it's, it's a, a cleaning muzzle. rod. It's a fishing rod. Out, but up close. What do you think, Jim? Uh, well, you can see pollen sure. floating oh, around. So at least for the first two claim? canyons, you can. It's pretty easy I'm to spot where the wind is. It's between the second canyon and the far one that it's a little bit harder to see. So this is what he's talking about. We have to shoot to here. So at least the first ones are easy, what? right? Yeah, there's enough little white fuzzies floating. Oh yeah, well. What do you think, Pete? I'll leave it in there. Um, Try not to overthink it. One thousand. Thinking not to overthink it. Now we're doing it with a two twenty three. AR. AR. 1,270 1, yards. 55 grainers. 55 grain. Yeah. They'll run out of juice at about 700 yards. Yeah. They'll run out of juice be between the first and second canyon. So my, my strategy is like before I shoot the AR, just give it kind of a... Uh, well, you just know, squeeze the trigger real hard. Velocity in there. Squeeze the trigger real hard. You've got to have some lateral movement in there because the 55 grainers spin fast. So you got to like a little bit yeah. forward and left. Or you could even kind of start behind and just... So anyway, that's where we're going. Right there. Ryan how oh, that's how he has to do it in South Africa because it's south of the equator. You know, you've got to learn how to shoot upside down. Yeah. You're pointing a gun at me. Somebody just reverse bipod this thing for me, please. <laughs> like this. All right. If you shoot a rifle upside down, do you dial up or down? Down. You dial down. You dial up. No. Hang on. One at a time. Up. You dial up. I refuse to play this game. You can't dial. <laughs> down. Down. Oh, uh, like left or right, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> down. Bullets come out of the stock, right? Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, we talking about guns? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, explain why. What do you guys show, think show in the, in the comments? Tell me, you're if you're shooting a rifle upside down, do you dial a scope up or down? Let me know in the comments. Jim's just saying, cool. like, you're shooting upside down, still looking through the opera. Right? 95%. I'm with, I'm with Pete. I think it works in the I can't side. tell. What's that? What's so this? much dust, I can't off. tell. Um, hold left edge of that paper. I tried low, it didn't get me on. Whatever you did last time, but go left edge. You got it. All right, you're on paper. There we go. So we can shoot. 1,280 yards uh, with this setup. Like 55 grain bullets. Nils, you only need two shots to sight in. At this point, you're practicing. I'm not you, Eric. Uh, the right target, three shots on the orange. Boom, baby. I'm just gonna zero here and call it good. How many shots did it take you to sight it in? Uh, well, I don't know, seven. You only need two. If I hit the paper at the start, that might oh, be true. This gives us, we have the answer. 17. Hey, anything more than two shots, you're practicing. <laughs> if you hit the paper at the start, that might be true. All right, so I just went up first, figure out the wind, and Pete's going, figure out the elevation and the wind. So now Pete's going next, and I gave him the wind calls. Hopefully he can make more impacts. I was only able to get one. We're hoping to see some more hits today. Hopefully we'll get some excitement here. Well, you know, you've got a little bit less horsepower than you would with, with something like a 6 Dasher or a 6 GT. Uh, but it really does quite well. Now, uh, we've got a 6 Dasher shooter on the line. That's right. Is there going to be some familiarity between those two cartridges? Absolutely. This is going to be the same bullet weight range. This is a 108 grain projectile. 
Pete's probably shooting like a 105 or a 109. I'm shooting 109, so this is completely different. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely different, evidently. He says it's completely different. We're calling BS back here from the commentator. These booth. are some of the pickiest people you'll meet in the entire world. Let's See, what he's doing is setting up the massive international excuses here. So, John, uh, one grain is one one seven thousandth of a pound. That's the difference between the bullet he was talking about. First shot down range. I think I saw something. Did you see something there? I, I can't see. Yeah! 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 Hit! Yeah! Round Peter Millard with the hit and the six arc. That flashbang is nice job, Peter. Oh, he's going to have this, getting his 223 set up, the Stag Arms Spectrum rifle. Yep. So, John, let's think of an analogy. What is this shit shot like? Is this like trying to hit someone on the football field with an orange from like the nosebleed section? No, I was going to say more like a spitball from the Empire State Building. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you saw the grain projectile is not. If you saw Serena, can you grab me the mag from the 65 when you're and you had a spit wad, would you try for it? I, due to the Fifth Amendment, am not going to speak on that one. I'm hearing a whatever they want. Nobody's hitting stag hard. Nobody nobody's hitting with that. Whatever they want is the term being tossed around if they get ahead. Whatever they want, that's dangerous. I heard equity of the company is involved. I'm gonna take a personal Lamborghini. No trade. The anticipation. Now again, for the folks watching at home, we are Calling hits and impacts on the AR. So you did a dad joke there on that interview, and they cut you off immediately. Oh yeah. How do you feel about that? It was rude, man. This whole tournament has been just bull crap. It's rigged. They're all trying to give extra points. I saw Cortina add ten points to his score while nobody was looking. I've never shot here. <laughs> anyway, that's why you get cut off on the interview. That's probably why. That's probably why. Old Joe, compose yourself, Jimmy. Jimmy. Make the sound again in his ear. Are you back? You back? I like. What? I like your start. I'm okay. gonna start up again. That's a, that's a bit seems arrogant. Yeah, it's a joke. Okay. <laughs> My haters will think like Pete's such a fucking asshole. <laughs> Is that on is that on record as well? Because include that. Okay. Now we're here with Peter Milan pre-PRS stage, and he tells me off camera that not only is he the best PRS shooter in the world, but he will dunk on all of you on the internet. Peter, how do you feel about this one? I'm feeling good. I dunk is a very good explanation. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna light it up. What do you think is gonna be the hardest shooting target on this on this stage? Well, I actually just had a look at the long shot target cameras and they look pretty big on the long shot, but I'm sure as soon as we build a position, they look a little bit smaller. But realistically, I think those will get good splash on probably one of these guys at the back here. Yep. Very nice arc of fire, so different winds, different conditions. Super okay, cool. now in the spirit of the Rock Chuck Olympics, Pete is also going to be a part of this pre-stage briefing where he's going to give some tips and tricks. Thank you for that, Pete. We also appreciate the branding integration in that. The Long Shot Camera Company will thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck, Pete. Yeah. Have a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. That is another <coughs> office reference. Are you guys rolling? Rolling. Go for uh, the hills are alive. <laughs> The hills are alive That's Boss John. I have with the picture. sound of music. <laughs> I think, John, that the competitors are actually more confident about this stage than I thought they were. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. It's pretty interesting to see them thinking that yeah. they're going to get all the hits. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen. Let's head over there. Right down there, right next to the Nice. <laughs> all right, we're about to do the final stage, which is the PRS stage. And all the spectators <laughs> are here. Peter, do you understand the course of fire? Yep. Your time starts now. It fucked! It fucked! Okay. It fucked! It fucked! It 
fucked! They're fucked! Wait, I'm running, sorry. <laughs> They're fucked! You're given kind of vague rules. As long as you stay with the dick cops, it's up to you to solve the problem. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm back! Okay. Negative impact on the first shot hit. Second shot hit. Yeah. They're fired! They're fired! Running. Nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> Good <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> nice work. I wasn't going to do this one, but I did a few, Eric. <laughs> Outstanding. So we're gonna we're gonna do some boating now. So we just got cards for best instructor I think this and shot of water. The competitors. Nice. We're gonna do post stage interviews cool. and we're gonna do bios. Okay. Okay. So we'll find a nice spot. Plan on filming in about five minutes or so. Lovely. However long these guys need to catch a breath, right? <laughs> Hey, yo, Jimmy! Hey, yo, Jimmy! He's right, right there. Where? He's <laughs> right there. Jimmy! Uh, <laughs> the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Wee! Are you going to actually shoot or? Yeah, let's like wait for the rock check to come back out of his hole. That's a rim fire. Yeah. <laughs> why, why is it sitting in the middle? <laughs> Come on, man. Can't be waiting on you all day. Look at that. All right, time for the award ceremony to get kicked off. Swimming pool, get your shit together. Let's go. <laughs> I have no idea they're up there, though. <laughs> 
Check out the centerpieces. Oh, dude, it rings too. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and our champion, 97.34. That is a tight yeah. match, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Everybody shot awesome. There were highlights across the board. It was really fun to see you all shoot. Yeah, I loved it, man. Okay, so we'll take a brief break, like 10 seconds, onto the Silver Rock Check Award. There's only one thing I need to say. It's evident who is the new team captain of Canik. What? And I what? think we can all agree. What? Oh, <laughs> the cliffhangers. Sorry about that, but obviously, I don't want to give away the winner. Uh, it was an amazing event. Go subscribe to Ultimate Reloader. They're going to have the entire series put together. They're going to do a much better job than, than I could ever consider doing. So it's going to be worth the wait. As you guys saw, this event was amazing. The terrain was amazing. The range, the course of fire was great. The competitors, man, hanging out with Nils, with uh, Jim from Backfire, with Hootie Who, Senor Hootie Who, with uh, Peter Milan from Impact Shooting, obviously hanging out with Gavin. There was a lot, and there was a lot of people behind the scenes uh, just making this entire thing possible. It was an incredible event. All the staff that helped Gavin put all this together, the sponsors, uh, the uh, Mrs. Gavin herself, she was very, she was amazing. Everything was, they fed us every day. Oh, man, I can't even, I can't even express how grateful I am to have been part of this. And... You guys don't even, don't even know how fun this was. This was amazing. So I hope we do it again. So make sure you follow everybody. You follow Gavin, you know, Ultimate Reloader, Backfire, Nils, uh, Mr. Hootie Who. You, you follow uh, Peter Milan, Impact Shooting. Follow everybody, the sponsors. Just this was an amazing event. So like this video, share it and go watch all the other episodes of you know all the other uh youtubers are doing uh similar series it's it's great that way you get to see everybody's perspective it was great uh, i wish i could tell you who the winner is but not yet you're gonna have to wait but you got kind of a inside scoop of what went on and i don't know maybe you can kind of start see who who did what you know you saw the stages and maybe you can figure out who uh who could have uh, possibly won. But anyway, that's it. Thank you. And as always, keep them centered. And I